Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss how to insert report into SQL Server database through Dapper and return some data uh, with same SQL command. Let's see how we can do that. For that one, I have a separate project in my solution which is Tech and Talk C Sharp. And uh, if I see you the dependency, I already have installed two packages. Let me give you an overview. How to install a package, I can share you guys with, with you guys a separate video you can find uh, on the top link on the top of this video okay so i already have installed Dapper latest version and microsoft.data sql client so these only these two packages will be required let's jump back to program.cs here first thing first we need a connection string and that can get from your data source in my case, I have used SQL Server Express Embedded version, which comes uh, with SQL Server, which comes with Microsoft Visual Studio. And if I, if, if you, to add that, if you go to the add new item and you need to search data and you can find few options and you need to select an option, which is service based database, right? And you will have that .mdf file. Once you have added, you will have such kind of view and you can start adding your tables by just right clicking on tables folder. So I already have added users folder. How to add or query the tables inside .mdf file, you can find separate video. I will share that link somewhere on the top of the video or in the comment section. You can find that for the details. Okay, we have that users table and if i show you what data it has you can see it only have one record at the moment it is now fetching it's taking some time yeah you can see now tech and talk and the id is one uh for the connection string you need to just right click on that uh, connection and go to properties from this connection string attribute you need to copy paste this property and this is our connection string for this database we can simply paste that here so it will work as a magic all right next thing is we need to create a connection for that one i will use using keyword um idb connection and that will be sql connection like this and next thing will be the for that one first of all let us uh so we can yeah we can open and close the connection by ourselves if we're not using those methods dapper will take care of those by itself so i will hand over this responsibility to dapper orm and uh, it's very intelligent it will handle all those connections statuses so uh, next thing is i will do connection dot query single because i will going to add a single record in the database and uh, it will require a uh, sql query and the object i want to add so i will add an anonymous object so because i only have two properties id and the name and id is already identity and primary key so it will auto generate by itself i need to only pass the name property here you can pass as much as properties here uh, according to number of columns in your table so i will say that it's tech in top not t all right and that's how it should work and query single should return us an integer value as a count not count as an id of the user so it's very important that uh, you should know what property you are returning from the from the query so i will store it inside a separate variable so now the query now for the query let me add a separate string which is called sql and for that one i would like to write so i need to write insert into dbo.users users is the name of my table and along with brackets i need to pass name here and because i only have one attribute i will pass only name you can pass as much as you can just by separating out with the comma so i will stick with the name and next thing would be i will be adding an output keyword inserted keyword inserter means whatever record we have inserted 
insert it at the uh, now and we want its id back so id is the first column in the table so i can return that id this way and last uh, line would be the values and i will use name not this way name column here so that's all what we need to return an id of a record that is just inserted okay let's add that sql here and that should be it let's run this program and see what we what we can um, before that let's print that user id here let me run this program and we got an error so invalid object name dbo db dot user all right so this should be db dot user my mistake let me rerun again now we get the newly inserted id 2 as written and if i rerun this program i should get three this time let me rerun this one now i am getting three which is good so now i can see that i am getting those user ids what if i want to return a custom object or all the or the whole record at once so for that one first thing first i will need a class for that one i will add a class under here public user public class user and i will add prop id that was my first column and then second column was name and here i will use that user object and i need to update this variable type so that should be user now and i can rename that variable as it now this query should return user to us and i can name it username right so this query should return username to us uh the last thing we need to change is for instead of that id i can use static which means whatever record is inserted just return it after is executing that query so let's rerun our program to see the output now you can see tech and top returned which means a new record added and we have all user here to double check that i can just write user dot id plus and and this should be its name let me rerun this program once more so now we have id of 5 and take on top right so this is how we can insert a record in sql server using Dapper. and same command will return us newly added record um maybe set of its attributes or the single id nearly added single id so that was all from this video in case of any question please do ask in the comments and keep watching